Let's play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, Malkavian Edition, brought to you on behalf of GameAnyone.com by Frozen Foxy. I see Hobo Man. Maybe Hobo Man will uh, work out. Doesn't look like there's anyone else over here. Oh, thank you, Hobo Man. <laughs> There we go. What? But, but... I clean the city of diseased peoples. Damn you, Hobo Man, for still being diseased. You suck. Well, that didn't get me any blood. Blah. Fine. Go search for my blood somewhere else. Stupid hobos with their diseases and such. Hi-ho the ladder -o, apartment we will go. This sure takes way too long. Alright, Mitnick, what else you got for me? Final network hub. Okay, this is the big one. Quajin Front in Chinatown called Kamikaze Zin. Yeah, I know, it's Japanese. Don't ask. They've got a heavy duty security system. Uh, recon's coming. Once you're in, find the server room and activate the hub. One more thing. Sounds like Jackie Chan here. One more thing! Okay. <clears throat> They have a vault where they keep software, etc. Um, you better break into it and take something. Put them off. The scent. This one can be messy. It's your ass. Kamikaze Zen Recon. The key to the front door is in your mailbox. Our inside man put a file called Hooligan on one of the office terminals. It's a virus. Find it and execute it. This will shut down the power and allow you to get past the first real security door. I never got any blueprints to the inner sanctum, so once you're past the first door, you're on your own to find the server room and the vault. Good luck. Okay. We will give that a shot then. Mainly the reason that I like to uh, get all those hubs complete at this point in time is because you're about to go to the final location anyway. So you might as well have all the hubs complete and then you can basically do it when you're already there. So that's just my thinking. You know, makes it a little bit easier. This time, key, mailbox, mine. Thank you. So, up to this point, we've really only met uh, one Kui Jin, and that was back at Foxy Boxes. Apparently my store. So I guess we'll be meeting some more Kuijin over in Chinatown. But before we do, I'd like to go see Nines and the gang and uh, update them on what the Camarilla are doing, since I told them that I would be uh, helping them out a little bit. You can't really be helping someone out if you don't go talk to them once in a while.
Besides, they got really good music in the last round. Yeah. What does that say? Exhaust pipe? Hey, damsel. Heard anything? LaCroix wants that old box from the boat real bad. It's probably just like the rolls of coffins or something. Lousy list of bastards. Many voices speaking loud, saying nothing more. Hey, where's Nines? I mean, like, doing some blood hunt stuff on him? I guess he just kind of left because he didn't want to get hunted. You measly fuck. You got a lot of nerve showing up here, Lick. Why such harsh words, Helter Skelter? You think it's nice. Say he killed a goddamn primogen. His shadow crossed my path at the primogen's palace. I'm willing to believe you were a patsy in all this, but I'll be watching you live. Where is he with the name of numbers? Don't expect to see him until this bullshit is resolved. I go to cast my shadow elsewhere. Farewell. Let's see what Jack has to say. Listen, kid. You did what you had to do. Yep. Just a messenger, right? Where is Nines now? I hear Nines got word. I'd wager he's gonna be laying low for a while. Can you decode this conundrum? It's a ruse by LaCroix, so you can call the blood hunt on nines. Standard smear job, textbook cammy bullshit. Will not the Anarchs protect this warrior prince? Yeah, sure, but there's packs of youngsters out there who'd love to make a name by bringing in the head of Nines Rodriguez. Can I aid the Anarchs? <laughs> You're just eager to please, ain't you? I could give a goddamn kid, but I'm sure the boys here would appreciate it if you kept the business as usual. You hear me? I will do what needs to be done. Just a second. I heard you were down poking around the museum. Yeah. How did you unmask that mystery? Kid, you don't live to be as old as me without cultivating a few connections. The least of which should be able to penetrate the iron veil of the local natural history museum. <laughs> Quite the Iron Veil, isn't it? The Jester sent me there to take the terrible talisman. Seems like he has a lot riding on that sarcophagus to get such a fierce bug in that powdered wig of his. What need has he of this terrible talisman? I got another scenario for you here, kiddo. Gonna bounce it off you, see what you think. You ever hear of, uh, Diablery? No. What is that? My ears have never heard of such a thing. Well, it's when a vampire drains another more powerful vampire to death. Diablery is a Sabbat specialty, but it's a big taboo in civilized kindred circles, and damn sure forbidden by the Camarilla. Voodoo taboo? When a younger vampire diablerizes an elder, the younger vampire gains all of their powers. Really? Ah, dark blood and precious power. The prince is willing to tear L.A. apart to find this thing so he can have it. Why? What would a power-hungry vampire like LaCroix want with a sleeping ancient? Hmm, I wonder. The jester wants his prize. What do I do? You gotta figure a drop of ancient blood would make any kindred just about invulnerable. Anyone who has a sarcophagus is going to be thinking the same thing. If LaCroix gets a sarcophagus, at least we know where it is. Your words ring of truth. Besides, getting the sarcophagus and getting into it are two different things. My shadow darkens other domains. Farewell. That's for the tip, Jack. You're always a smart vampire.
look like really anyone going down the alleys that I'd like to chew on at the moment. Oh well. Perhaps we'll find someone else to chew on later on. I think it's time to visit ye old Chinatown.